Here's a project my class completed on the phase of the moon. We used a golf ball and to uh, bring in the crater effect, of course. And you can see, just like the, the moon in space, half of the sphere is always white or lit up, and the other half is dark or black. And the labels around the moon model here show each phase of the moon. The problem in the past in teaching the phases of the moon was that my students had a hard time conceptualizing and visualizing, understanding the concept of what is happening in space in relation to our view from Earth and the Sun and the Moon as they interact in their orbits. But this model really helped by showing, here we are, we're looking at the Moon and at the new Moon line right here is the new Moon. Then when we go to the uh, crescent, as you turn the model, you actually see the golf ball forms a crescent, the light and the dark. And then here's first quarter, and then here is a gibbous moon. And again, you can see that this model enables the student to see the phases of the moon on an actual sphere and relate it to what they see in, in the night sky on a daily basis. Something like that.